to the same story when we in Africa talk of the vision 2063 of greater connectivity via infrastructure, single African air transport market, the African continental free trade area. It is about the future of work and workers, of trade and traders, and their investments. At the moment, you see, it's still very difficult to travel across Africa. You come from here, you have to go by another place before you can reach Nairobi. And you pay a lot of money to do so. Mainly because most of our African countries have refused to ratify what we call the um, um, uh, free, uh, free uh, air or open skies uh, agreement, which was uh, uh, conceived in, in 1988 to now. Uh, across the world, and in Africa in particular, we are struggling with how to ensure full employment for our people, how to provide quality education for our children, security and equality of opportunity for all citizens, regardless of their race, their origin or tribe. Whether you have come from uh, this meeting, wherever we have come from, I believe that one of the most pressing issues we face in our countries is work, how to provide well-paying and sustainable jobs for our people, especially our youth. And Africa is a very young continent, youthful, because uh, they say that about 70% uh, of our population is below the age of 35. And jobs are not about welfare of individuals. Jobs affirm the soundness of the economy. Availability of jobs ensures security, dignity, and better pay for workers. This means job creation should be a concern uh, to the worker, the employer, the management, and most important, to the trade unionists fighting for the welfare of workers. As a country, we have always believed in strong and responsible trade union movement. And trade union movement did play a very pioneer role during the struggle for independence in our country in those days. We find that a number of our trade union leaders were in colonial detention at that time. People like Makan Singh, like um, uh, Fred Kubai and so on. Even at our lowest moments, we have always embraced the idea that workers need protection, and so they need strong unions to protect and represent their interests. We believe in trade unions that use their power to think not just about today's pay and working conditions, but also how to ensure we create a vibrant economy that creates more jobs for more jobless. In other words, not just to protect those who are in employment, but to ensure that other people who are unemployed also get jobs. We must admit that even as we champion interests of those already in employment, there are millions of our citizens who are out of work and are praying that we can create a good environment for more firms to set up here and take in more people. 